Hey, welcome back to the big board. My phone is uh, getting full. I have uh, just 28 minutes of chat time, so this will be succinct anyway. We're looking at Sicily 2. It's uh, from uh, Multiman Publishing. It's the OCS system. You've probably, if you're on the channel, means you've probably seen my live play at some point of this game. <coughs> so, I want to give you a quick update. I was actually going to announce that I was uh, resigning from the game and going to wrap things up, but I decided to finish off the 7th of August turn, which would then move us into the 10th of August turn, and that is when the Germans are eligible to begin extricating themselves into the foot of Italy here. And I thought, well, let's, you know, be a little more aggressive with the Allies and see what we can do. Now, the Germans have been particularly wily <coughs> in their defensive play and have been fortunate enough with the back-to-back -back turns that have happened twice that they've been able to build this very deep defense. So there's one line here, another line here, and then there's some artillery and reserve units here to kind of pop out of reserve and jump up into spots uh, when things uh, got dire. Now, what happened... Uh, on the 7th, let me just check something in this hex real quick right here. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't screw up. All right. Um, so what happened was <clears throat> the Allied artillery fired, the air came in, and out of all that, we got one DG. And uh, in fact, uh, then this attack went in at fairly mediocre odds. It was only going to be, I think, a four to one attack in the end. And that in, ended up with an attacker taking a loss and the defender electing to take a loss. They lost a small Italian unit and still retaining the hex. So come, come the beginning of the next turn, it's, well, actually, you know, so there is a chance here that this, if the, there's a back-to-back, -back, that the, the Allies can take this hex. But nevertheless, it'll be the beginning of the 10th, and the Germans can start trying to ferry units across the board over here. So not a lot happened there. Here, the, the Allies attacked uh, a hex here. Their bombing raid was so spectacular that they actually knocked a step off, and then the uh, big division here, the first, uh, finished off the small uh, battalion of tanks that was here. Not much of a contest there. Uh, over here on the left-hand side, just a little bit further over towards Palermo, there was a little combat here just to try and cut the highway. We've now cut the highway in two places. Not that it really matters because Palermo has a whole bunch of supply that uh, is being uh, uh, used to keep everyone in supply here. They probably have one more turn of supply or two more turns of supply left. And then these guys will have to start rolling for uh, attrition and things like that. So we're kind of grinding away on this little stack here. Not going as fast as we wanted. I've started taking a little, uh, a little uh, more aggressive attack profile here, but I failed to get any airstrikes to stick here, and uh, I'm just not prepared to go in on raw combats without knocking off, at least uh, you know, put dis disrupting these uh, heavy stacks. Even this stack here, I couldn't get a dis disruption on it. Coming across the river and all the rest of it was going to be very, very bloody. So we're we're electing not to attack into that hex just this turn. <clears throat> Even though I think we probably would do just fine, it, it's a really iffy attack uh, at, 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 in, the, at the best of, in the best of situations. So the Germans are in actually reasonably good, a reasonably good situation. And I would think given that they have a three, uh, three hex deep line here, they're not in any uh, pressure at all, under any pressure at all. And they can, in fact, start moving some of these units further up uh, behind the lines here, move them back here, ferry them across, and then stage a retreat back to here, and then get enough VPs to call it a win for the uh, for the Germans as it or the Axis as it would be. the The problem has been non-aggressive enough play by the Americans to try and take Palermo sooner and force 
uh, units to peel off here and support here. The, the Falsham Yoga have been able to hold fairly well up until just this turn. This road has been problematic to get to, and most of that has been because I didn't manage my headquarters very well. I had two decent headquarters and I, I wasted a turn by moving them in the wrong direction and to backtrack and bring them back and then get them flipped over to their supply side and it was just it was a uh, their decent supply side so it was just a disaster so I lost a turn or two there and then a little bit of tentative play in this area the compound of the errors over here we uh, we kind of went for it around the Catania area and uh, it was uh, around here. It was pretty expensive. We uh, knocked out some units and it certainly caused some bleeding for the axis, but it was expensive for us as well. And so I've got uh, uh, this division underneath here is at half strength. There's one back here at half strength somewhere, this guy here. So we've got to start bringing in replacements, which I have been doing. But uh, of course that takes time, right? You've got to land them and then next turn move them up and get them into position. And all, all the while, if you don't get the right sequence of turns, back-to-backs, or whatever the case may be, these guys uh, can keep uh, popping you into uh, disruptor mode, which is what they did here last turn. They fired artillery at this unit, which really took out you know, one-third of the forces here to attack, and so they couldn't you know, combine here to make a, uh, a three-way attack on this hex. Or if I had been lucky and DG'd both uh, these hexes or all three of these hexes, I could have uh, gone for two on here and one on here. So <clears throat> there's a lot more to the game uh, on the defense using artillery and reserves and uh, taking advantage of popping units out of reserve and then pushing them up into a stack that has a DG on it. So this turn, I'll, I'll move this unit up to here and reinforce it and we'll just keep going through that cycle so it's been pretty interesting I, i'm going to play another turn uh, i want to start moving units off the board and see how complicated that makes things for the i have actually got two units here i didn't put didn't put in a stack when i was shuffling points around so i do need to pop them on the map and they will go back here they're mobile artillery they're not helping very much at this point all right so that's kind of a wrap on things for Sicily 2. I will do one more video. It may be a live play. I don't know. I'm not sure that this is that interesting to play live just because uh, this is getting uh, rather uh, heavy and dense and tedious. Probably not going to finish the game out. There's still another six turns to go. I think it's safe to say that the Germans can get between eight and uh, to 12 units off the board here in reasonably good shape without in without too much risk because of the uh, supply tenuous supply lines of the allies over here on the western end of the board and the kind of the the road log jam we've got here and here so uh, we'll see what happens I'll play another turn if something exciting does happen I'll, I'll jump on live with you guys but alternatively, uh, look for the next title to come up and we'll uh, look forward to playing with all of you soon. Cheers.